Hi, it's me, Dr. Lee, and thank you for joining me. We're talking about the manifestation of God. I am calling this one, Be Strong in the Lord. Be Strong in the Lord. The Bible verse that I will be focusing on this week is Ephesians 6, 10. From the NIV, Ephesians 6 and 10 for the NIV, and it says, Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Again, Ephesians 6 and 10, NIV, finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. I have learned, I'm not saying I perfected it, but I have learned. That when things happen, to trust in God. And that sometimes things, you know, happen for a reason. It may not make sense at the moment, but then it makes sense. You're like, okay, I can connect the dots. You're like, okay, connect the dots. So, um, like, I was um buying something online, and the I got ready to purchase it, and it was telling me how I need these additional things to make the product work. And you know, whenever you have a product and you may need other things to make it work, it's no use to really having the product if you don't have all the other little things that go with it. Well, the other little things were going to be about $100 extra. But the problem I was having was the website kept telling me that one of those small items was not available, which was kind of odd because I was like, this place should have this. But... I said, you know what? No sweat. I'm just going to trust God. I'm going to buy the main product. And all the little stuff that's on the side for the extra $100. We'll just wait to see you know, how that work out. And when the product come. Well, as you know how God tend to do things. When the product arrived, God had the people that that delivered the product. They, he allow them to all the little small things that should have cost hundred dollars they they installed all of them use their stuff and so just a blessing and so what i'm saying is god is mighty he can use some of the smallest things that may not make sense at the moment because a lot of us be like okay oh, i cannot get this product because it's missing the small thing but i was like you know what it's other stores that sell it i just have to pick it up you know but i'm just gonna wait and get the product and then you never know what god has some you know the people that deliver may have the stuff and they did and they didn't charge them for it. they you know just i mean a blessing so with that whenever you have a situation it's not working out as you want it to work out or plan it to work out know that god is mighty and he can blow your socks off. And it doesn't have to be once every blue moon. Or it doesn't have to always be, you know, little tiny things. I'm not saying little tiny things are not important. Because they are important too. Because like whenever you have little tiny little tiny things that happen to you and you know it's God. It, to me it's like God being detailed. Like okay, I'm no, you know this is just for you. But then God can really do some great and mighty things and for you. And they, you know saying, they just, you know. It's mind blowing. It's just mind blowing. In other words, so stay focused on God and put your hope and trust in Him. And maybe you're trying to get that a better job or a higher pay, or maybe you're trying to pass a test, or maybe you're looking for a spouse. Maybe you're trying to have a baby. Maybe you have some type of health issue that seems like you know what is like getting the best of me, or just whatever it is. Know that. You have to put your trust in God because he's the one that is mighty. And for this um, verse here that I'll be focused on this week, and I said use whatever verse you want to use. Just include God in your day. Include God as much as you can in your, in your day and in your week. And with this verse, finally, be strong in the Lord. So put your strength strength in the Lord and in his mighty power and you never know what God would have in store for you who he would use how you know he would use that person like for example I was at this place and 
I was talking to the representatives and while I was talking to the representative, another young lady walked up behind me and she basically was asking, you know, asking some questions and they was like, yeah, that they could do it. But then they said it was going to be $15. And she like, she was all in until they said $15. And then when they said that, she turned and then she turned around and started walking off. And I... But that, you know, because I'm one of those people, if God put me somewhere, I feel like God put me there for a reason. I always ask God to order my steps. So this person there, and they're walking off like that, like all the air is let out of them. Like they're like so disappointed. I <laughs> ever, I asked her, I said, you must not have the $15. And she looked at me, she said, uh-uh. And so I was like, okay, don't worry about it. I, 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 I pay for it. I give you the $15. And she just stopped and looked at me like she couldn't believe it. And then when she did that, the all the people that was working there, they stopped and looked at me. The other customers, it was funny. The uh, was was one other customer there, maybe one or two customers that was there, and they st all stopped and looked at me like I had just like dropped like fifteen million, <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay. And the first young lady said, not the one that I was like. Uh, blessing with the fifteen dollars, but the first young lady, she was like, "Oh, God's gonna bless you. Oh, you got something coming. God's gonna bless you." And it was so funny, and all of us just start shaking the head and like, like God was going to bless me. And it was like, it wasn't any type of religious place or event, but how it all just came out that they was like, "God's gonna bless you," and the lady that I, the young lady that I with the fifteen dollars I didn't have changed so I was like all I have is you know this twenty dollar bills you bill and just give her the change or whatever I gotta go because I was um, I saw the time I had to get out of there so I gotta go and I said and if for some reason it doesn't work out just give her the cash you know I don't get you know whatever and it just looked at me it was just so funny how everybody just kind of chimed in on the conversation and what I did was like so mind blowing I was like it was fifteen dollars fifteen dollars it's a lot of money I'm not knocking it what I'm saying is that it, you, you could have seen their expressions and then like the stuff they started saying you would have thought that you know like i was like big ball and dropping like 15 million hey maybe one day i will i <laughs> mean god may say hey hey you go ahead go a billion dollars i'm gonna you know let you drop 15 million on someone <laughs> but with or uh, with that it made me feel so good that how the first young lady acknowledged that God, how oh God, and she was oh God, going to, you know, God gonna bless you, you got it coming, you know. And so then the lady that I did the um that I actually gave the the money to, she said the funniest thing to me, and she basically looked at me and she was so serious, she looked me in my eyes, and it's like she you know saying like she wanted to hug me, but she was like okay I don't, don't know this lady I don't want to touch her or offend her, and so I held my arms out so she could hug me. And she hugged me and she said, um, or maybe she said it first. I can't remember. She either hugged me and said it first. Was, um, well, I don't know what order it was in. But she looked at me and she said, you are the mess. And she didn't say mess. She said the 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 the, the bad word, the cuss, the cuss word. And all I could do was bust out laughing because I never had anybody to tell me I was the mess. And I was like, you know, I, and she meant it in a, a good way. And she just like, she just couldn't believe it. And I was like, wow, I never thought that I'd be called it in a positive, you know, a positive sense. And, but it was like so touching. I, I just kept spending her look on her face and everybody just like staring at me, at me. Like, I mean, they just got into the conversation and, and it was, oh, we need more people in the world like you. You know, just, it was a lot of um, nice things, but it made me feel good. I wasn't expecting that, but it touched my heart to have these complete strangers to just, chime in on what I did because I didn't know they was even listening, you know, paying attention because everybody was doing their own little thing. But with that, know that God is mighty and God will use a stranger like someone like myself and to try and just bless you when you just having, you know, like you just, well, I don't have any money. I'm on my, you know, I don't have a dime to my name. I'm just out here and you just think that it's over and then boom, God has a person there to buy your lunch or, and maybe, you know, you have the money, but maybe you know you just need a pat on your back, or maybe you just need someone to say, "Oh, you look, you know, you 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 look wonderful there. You feel wonderful. You've got a beautiful spirit, or you know, I like your earrings. I like your hat, or whatever. Just something to, just just to say something positive to you, and something to encourage you. So with that, know that God can use some someone you do not even know, and God can use some very unique situations." 
to show his love. And sometimes he'll use you, use you to um, show his love to other people. And you don't know why. And it may not be big to you. Maybe it's just a dollar. Maybe, you know, you may say, well, it's just a dollar. But that person will be like, you know what? I'm so hot. It's hot outside. And that dollar bought me one of those big drinks at the convenience store. You get for like 79, 89 cents. And this is a blessing because it was hot walking outside. So you don't, you don't know that whatever that you're doing, maybe you think it's small. Maybe you think it's not much. But a lot of times, price is not, you know, such a big um, issue or the amount that you're doing more than the meaning. Because if you walk in a hot, sunny um, day and somebody, you know, give you a check for, I mean, some, a check for $100, I mean, you hot and you walk in, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a blessing. But at that moment, you about to faint, about to pass out. And that 79 89 cents soda at the convenience store that you're standing at, you know, is the is the, the 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 blessing. This is what I need right now. I'm about to pass right now. I mean, I'll make it the next moment. It's so hot out here. But and but with that, just know that God is mighty. So all I'm telling you is to be strong in the Lord. Be strong in be strong in Him. And whatever may come, whatever may happen, you keep the faith. You keep pushing for it. You as I always say, you you let go, you let God, and you keep it moving. And don't give up, no matter what may come, no matter how hard it look or how dim the light, you know, seem down the tunnel. Don't give up. Don't quit. Put your trust in the mighty God that we serve. I'm going to pray. Father, I come to you, sent on Ephesians 6 and 10. In your word it says, finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Father, may I continue to grow and be strong in you and your mighty power. Father, I'd like for you just to continue, continue to just show yourself in just whatever way you desire to. And Father, just thank you, thank you, thank you for all you have done and all that you're doing and all that you will do. Father, have your Holy Spirit continue to help me to be the vessel that you need me to be. And Father, again, may I continue to be strong in you and put my trust and hope in you so father i thank you and i love you in jesus name i pray amen and so with that just be strong in the lord and keep it moving if you came across this video and you do not have a relationship with jesus christ all you have to do is repent of your sins and accept jesus christ as your lord and savior and if you have a relationship all you have to do is continue to grow it grow it grow be the brightest light you could be Read your Bible, walk in obedience, and pray, pray, pray. Be strong in the Lord. I'm Dr. Lee. Thanks for watching. Let go. Let God in. Keep it moving. Take care.